changing climate has several implications on plant species, speeding up the process of natural selection and strengthening pressures for competition and survival within and between species. A distinctively noticeable feature of climate change are increases in temperature and consequently patterns of rainfall. A good way to highlight the response of plants to climate change are by assessing seed characteristics, such as size, quantity and viability. Eucalypts are particularly suited to a study such as this, as they have easily identifiable seeds and are well distributed along eastern Australia. A lot of research has been conducted on the response of plants, particularly changes in their leaves, to changes in temperature and rainfall. Much less, however, has been studied about their seed characteristics, particularly in the eucalyptus genus. It can be of great value to study these changes, particularly in moderately drought-tolerant species. If these changes are dramatic, then we can posit changes to more vulnerable species and subsequently predict community changes in the future. Evolutionary studies are often challenging, as large-scale studies need to be conducted over long periods of time. Alternatively, an excellent way to investigate responses to environmental change is through spatial difference rather than temporal. This study will therefore compare differences in sea characteristics over a range of latitudes in an attempt to predict changes over time. This can be done on Eucalyptus teratoconus, the species that has the widest latitudinal distribution along the east coast of Australia, ranging from Gippsland in Victoria to Cooktown in Queensland. Testing five sites along a longitudinal gradient will provide good insight into changes in response to increasing temperature and rainfall regimes. Seed quantity and size measures can be done in situ, and viability tests using incubators at different temperatures. This research would provide enormous scope on the evolutionary changes that eucalypts will face in the future of climate change. This will be the first study to reconcile spatial data with temporal predictions in regards to seed changes, particularly in one of Australia's most common species. This will provide impetus for conservation efforts, especially in light of a wetter and hotter Australia.